Be honest, would you really notice or care? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things you probably won't miss if they disappear. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at things in our world which, if they were to suddenly disappear tomorrow, wouldn't be greatly missed, or that we could adjust to living without in a matter of weeks or months. There must be an on button somewhere. To press the Apple thing. Number 10. Cigarettes. Sure, let's start with one that's guaranteed to elicit some angry reactions. You see, with the advent of e-cigarettes, many smokers have opted to ditch their odorous bad habit in favor of this new delivery system to get their nicotine fix. Vaping, though perhaps lacking the aesthetic appeal of smoking, has made one-time smokers feel less marginalized and unwelcome. If cigarettes suddenly disappeared tomorrow, vapors wouldn't mind one bit. Smokers would undoubtedly be upset, but with a little time and the inevitable shift to vaping, we suspect that most people would quickly get over the loss. Number 9. Physical Data Storage With the major tech players including Apple, Google, and Microsoft all offering and pushing their cloud storage systems, locally stored data is already on the decline. You might balk at the idea of committing to the cloud, but the reality is you've probably already begun to make the transition without realizing it. Many businesses employ Google Apps or G Suite to facilitate file sharing. Apple has all but forced its users into embracing its cloud services. There's natural resistance to trusting a faceless internet service to store all your cherished photos, music, movies, and documents. But the reality is, it's far more likely that your external hard drive, USB stick, or computer will suddenly die on you. Number 8. Snail Mail And by that we mean the postal service. Physical mail. For many people, the mailbox contains nothing but bad news. If traditional mail service were to suddenly cease to exist, we think that it might actually be an improvement, as it would force those few technologically lagging businesses and industries to finally go paperless and stop insisting that you physically mail them documents X, Y, and Z. If the only thing that got delivered to your front door were Amazon orders and subscription boxes, we think it would improve the mailing experience. If it were simply to disappear, we think that very few people would bat an eye, and it sure would save a lot of paper. Number 7. Department Stores and Malls Once upon a time, having all the various goods you could want offered in one convenient location was a dream come true. But nowadays, both department stores and malls feel like a waste of space. Younger generations prefer to do their shopping online, where they can get the best prices and avoid pushy salespeople. If you want something particular, well then you probably want to go to a specialized store where the employees are experts, not just the person assigned to that department as part of a megastore. As for malls, they just feel cramped and crowded. Between online shopping and dedicated retailers, we don't think either of these commercial centers would be missed. People walked into stores and they felt overwhelmed because there were so many options. Number 6. Cash and Coins We've all been there before. You enter a business and do your shopping, only to have the cashier point to a sign that says cash only when you whip out your card. In this age of online banking, people are handling money less and less. The only people who seem to have cash on hand are delivery boys and people in the service industry because of tips. For the rest of us, it's a simple inconvenience. If physical money were to disappear, all businesses would be forced to take cards, and life would be oh so convenient. No more awkwardly running to the closest ATM to pay for a meal you just ate. Number 5. Buttons No, we're not talking about the ones on your coat. We all know for a fact that when you lose one of those, it is sorely missed. We're talking about buttons that you physically push in, you know, like the ones on a house phone, a calculator, or a TV remote. Buttons break, and more often than not, because electronics are made so cheaply these days, that means throwing out the whole thing. It's the reality of using a physical mechanism. They deteriorate with repeated use. There's also a spatial consideration. Wherever you put a button, you can't put something else. With space-saving touchscreen technology and app-controlled electronics, however, we can arguably do away with buttons entirely. What the hell? Bust my buttons! Number 4. Network TV Dear networks, we know that you're trying to up the quality of your programming to compete, but the issue isn't the content, it's the distribution method. People want to watch whatever they feel like, and they want to do it on their own time. 
Yes, there are still plenty of people out there with traditional cable who are content to channel flip and put up with commercials. But if fate cut the cord for them, we suspect that they'd soon embrace their new freedom. You know, while we're at it, let's talk broadcast radio. You might turn it on out of habit while driving, but with so many podcasts and music streaming services, it seems superfluous. Number 3. Desktop Computers Computers are the present and the future, but our concept of a computer is ever-changing. And soon enough, they'll look so different that a time traveler from the early 90s wouldn't even recognize a modern computer. These computers are 30 years old. If stores were to stop selling desktop computers tomorrow, there might be an initial reaction, but then people would quickly move on, accepting the fact that laptops and micro PCs can cover the needs of most users. We'll make an exception here and say that gaming PCs would be sorely missed, but they're sort of a different beast to begin with. Between smartphones, laptops, and tablets, the traditional home computer is an old habit, not a necessity. Number 2. Landlines Yellow. Credit where credit is due. Bringing a telephone into every modern home connected the world in ways our ancestors never could have fathomed. And now, we can easily imagine a world without them. The mass spread of cell phones has rendered them useless. Many family homes still have them, but that's just because they've been there so long. What's the point of having a phone that's fixed to one location? That just sounds like an opportunity for missed calls. We're witnessing the slow death of both landlines and public telephones, but if someone were to put both out of their misery with one swift yank of the cord, no one would really care. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number 1. Paper and Print Media Unless you're still in school, chances are that you no longer feel that a home printer is really necessary. People print stuff increasingly infrequently. Piece of shit. In fact, younger generations have generally drifted away from using paper products of all kinds. Notepads, agendas, maps… These are all better handled electronically these days. And yet, the world still manages to consume somewhere in the ballpark of 407.6 metric tons of paper yearly, proving that old habits die hard. If paper were to be suddenly outlawed, the vast majority of us would not feel much effect. Ebooks might take some getting used to for purists, but as the tech improves, we think even paperback and hardcover purists would come around. You know, I probably won't be needing this book anyway. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.